Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create the Helix Wine Turbine in FreeCAD. So, let's open the FreeCAD and activate the part workbench. In part workbench we have to create the Helix, create primitives and Helix. So, let's make create and change the dimensions of Helix. We set the height and radius and the height and radius it is height and radius of blade of helix mine turbine so let's go to part design workbench and create the body in the body we have the helix which was imported and let's create the sketch and change the construction type it has to be white color and let's create the circle and make the extrusion operation for the circle it will be the shaft of wine turbine for the shaft we have to create the plane and translate the plane in Z direction minus OK and in this plan we have to create the support for blade of wine to bind so let's try this Let's import the helix to the sketch and try to make the line which will be intersect the helix it will be here so now let's uh, make the support shape using the spline tool okay it will be two different sides okay and let's change the shape of support some using these points okay Okay, so let's connect these points using line. And circle. Okay, uh, let's delete this line from sketch and close the sketch. Let's make the extrusion operation for support millimeter thickness and rotate the model and how we can see we have the shaft and support part let's make the refine operation okay and and here we have to create the airfoil 
of blade wine to bind. So let's go to another mode of sketcher. Uh, in first we have to import the point from Helix and go to another mode. We have the blue lines in menu and let's link this line with point of helix and let's set the equality constraint for this line and delete this constraint because we have false with sketcher and if we change the point position how we can see we change another point of line position okay Let's set the length of airfoil and go to the another mode of sketcher and create the leading and trailing edges of airfoil. For this, for creation airfoil, you can use the NAC airfoil, for example, or another airfoils. Here, I will make it uh, parametric airfoils, and let's set the radius for leading and trailing edge airfoil. Okay, let's some smaller and Uh, using the spline function we have to create the shape of pressure and suction side of airfoil and changing the so uh, for section and pressure side let's create it okay and we can change the shape of airfoil using these points let's set it some random position and correct this points okay and here yes so clo let's close the sketch um, but uh, let's change the length of airfoil okay and change the shape of airfoil okay let's close the sketch and now we have to make the two this Tool and choose the airfoil and pass. Here uh, we have to set the corner, right corner, and frame it mode. And so now uh, we have the correct blade shape of wine turbine. Okay. And let's make the refine true. Okay. So now let's create to another support of for blade. Let's create the plan and translate it in that direction. Set for example 40 millimeters and um, click OK and let's create the sketch with support shape. We'll be using the spline 
procreation shape of super and let's create another side of super shape let's set some random position for point first point middle point and last point okay now so Uh, let's link uh, height of the bla uh, blade and link of these points using line. Okay. Let's show the model and how and for super uh, sketch we have to create the extrusion operation and create the body okay now let's make the refine and now we have to make the array for blades we have to make this Let's try to make the array for all steps, previous steps. For this, okay, let's set two for. for this also we have to create the array and for blade shape ok click ok and now we have the full model of Helix wine turbine rotor. Okay, it looks correct. Let's make this uh, smaller sh size of shaft and so. Now it looks good, thank you for watching, subscribe and like, goodbye.